A few months ago, I released a video about how you can calculate your safe days. However, it has received a lot of comments, questions from people, especially those that don't have regular menstrual cycles. I mean, people who have irregular menstrual cycles and those that don't have only 28 days. In this particular video, we would like to look at how you can calculate your safe days, fatal days and the ovulation day even when you have irregular menstrual cycles and also if you have less than all above 28 days. Why? There are women who have 21, 22, 23, 30 days. We would like to calculate this for you in this video. Ask Dr. Othman Kumusawawo. Hello my very good viewers, welcome to Ask Dr. Uthman YouTube channel. I told you this is your channel where you learn medicine at the comfort of your living room. Today I have decided to answer your comments you noted in the previous video about safe days. Hey, if you've not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, please subscribe, especially those of you watching for the first time so that you become members. Uh, the first question is coming from Rejoice Good News. She says, sir, please help me. I can't calculate my ovulation. My menstrual circle do change that. Sir, I need your help on how to calculate and correct it. Uh, another person is unique. Desire says, I'm going to see my period on 20th June of this month and end on 24th. When will be my safe and unsafe day? When am I expecting my ovulation? On this particular question, I replied and asked, what is the length of your menstrual cycle? She says, after 26 days. Another person says, do a 21-day cycle for your followers. I'm going to do it. Uh, then Smith Ajir says, hi doctor, my cycle is 33 and I have my periods on 25 May. So when is my ovulation? It's almost one and a half year I'm unable to get pregnant. A uh, classy Sue says, does this work the same with a 20 days cycle? And uh, Sophia Jed says, hi doctor, my bleeding, <coughs> hi doctor, my bleeding 32 days, then I had intercourse on 9 day after my bleeding, this day is safe or unsafe. So all these questions are really regarding uh, irregular menstrual cycles and people who do not have a 20 days cycle. Therefore, we would like to help you calculate your safe days, ovulation days, and fertile days when, even when you have irregular menstrual cycles. Take a look. Like I have told you in the previous video, we looked at how you can calculate your safe days and fertile days. However, we looked at those people who have a 28 days cycle and also those people with the regular menstrual cycle. Now, today we would like to look at those of us, those of you who have irregular menstrual cycles. For example, you find that someone today has 23, another day has 25. Second, we are also looking at those people who do not have 28 days. But the first thing is that you must be sure of your menstruation. You must be sure of the length of your menstrual cycle. How do you calculate the length of your menstrual cycle? This is where most of you make mistakes. Usually when you ask me about this, I ask you back for the length of your menstrual cycle. And most of you give me Three, my length is three days. My length is five days. And for you, what you mean by length of the menstrual cycle is the number of days someone spends while bleeding. On the contrary, it's a no. The length of the menstrual cycle is not these days you spend while bleeding. The length of the menstrual cycle are the number of days from the time you begin menstruation or from the time you begin bleeding and the next time you begin bleeding. What do I mean? If you bleed today, take it as day one. Of course, here you'll bleed for like three to five days and more. Don't mind about the number of days you've spent while bleeding. Mind about the day you started bleeding. For example, you started on 1st of June. So we mind about that first June. Now, after bleeding, you'll spend some days without bleeding, many days without bleeding. Now, the other day you'll bleed again. For example, if you bleed again on 30th, 
30th will be the beginning of another menstrual cycle. Therefore, it will be day one of another menstrual cycle. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to look at first. You count the days from first up to a day before another menstrual cycle begins. And this is the 29th day. Therefore, if someone starts bleeding on first and then bleeds again on 30th, it means this person has a 29 days cycle. That is how we calculate the menstrual length, the length of the menstrual cycle. Now, for people who have irregular menstrual cycles, what are you going to do? You are advised to calculate this for a period of six months, which means every time you bleed will be noted day one. Another time you bleed day one until a period of six months. Mind you, these people who have regular bleedings or regular menstrual cycles don't need to calculate that for a period of six months. But if you have irregular menstrual cycles and you know that, what you are supposed to do is to calculate the length of your menstrual cycle for a period of six months. Now, when you calculate this for a period of six months, I want you to isolate the shortest, the shortest menstrual cycle. You isolate for me the shortest menstrual cycle. Therefore, in summary, we have the length of your menstrual cycle. How are you going to use the length of your menstrual cycle to know your safe days, your fertile days? So when you know the length of your menstrual cycle, or if you've calculated the length of your menstrual cycle, and remember, for those with irregular menstrual cycles, use the shortest length. So take the length of your menstrual cycle as M. Now, this is where mathematics comes in. So we shall have L. L represents the length of your menstrual cycle. So we shall have L, the length of your menstrual cycle, minus 18. We shall get an answer. We are assuming we shall get Z. So Z is the beginning of your fertile days. Now, if you get Z plus 4, this will equal your ovulation day. And if you get the ovulation day, which is O, plus 5, you will get the end of your fertile days. I know most of you are confused by this mathematics. But now let's look at the real example. Let's assume you have a 21 days cycle. So our L will be equaling to 21 days. So you have a 21 days cycle. So we shall get 21 minus 18. That means your, your fertile days will begin from the third day. So if we add 4, if we add 4 on 3, we get 7. Therefore, your fertile days are beginning on the third day. On seventh, the seventh day is your ovulation day. I hope we are together. The third day, you are not safe. You are safe from the first day up to the second day. The third day, you are not safe. Now, on seven, we add five. When we add five, we get 12. What does it mean? A person with a 21 day cycle is safe from the first up to the second day. Only. Only. And these are the people who will tell you that they conceived when they are still bleeding. Or when they are still undergoing their menses. So, on the, from the first up to the second day, this person is safe. But from the third day, up to the twelfth day, this person is fertile. So here you can conceive from the third day up to the twelfth day. Then from the twelfth day, you are safe again. From the, sorry, from the thirteenth day, 
until you resume your menstruation. All until you resume your menses. So, a 21 days cycle, first to second day, you are safe. Third to twelfth day, you are fertile. You are not safe. Thirteenth, until you resume your menstruation, you are safe. And your ovulation day is on the seventh day. We can give another example for clarity. Now let's look at a 26 day cycle. If you have a 26 day cycle, this is how you calculate your safe days and fertile days. We shall take L as 26. Therefore, we shall get 26 minus 18, and this will be 8. So, 8 is the beginning of your fertile days. Now, 8 plus 4, you get 12. Therefore, 12 is your ovulation day. Now, we get 12 plus 5 equal 17. 17th is the last day of your fertile period. Now, let's look at it and how it will be. You have started bleeding today. That is day 1. So, this is day 1, day 2, 3, and 26. So, how is it going to be reflected? Because this is the most important thing you need. So, from day 1, up to day seven, you are safe. 26 day cycle, day one up to day seven, you are safe. You are unsafe from this day, from the eighth day. Your ovulation day is on 12th. This is your ovulation day. 12th is your ovulation day. And your fertile days end on 17th. So the 17th day is the end of your fertile days. Therefore, from day 8 up to day 17, you are unsafe. What we mean by unsafe? You are fertile. Now, you will again be safe from the 18th day up to the 26th day, all up to when you resume your menstruation. Therefore, in summary, a 26 day cycle is safe from the first up to the seventh day, and safe from the eighth day up to the 17th day, and safe again from the 18th day until that person resumes her menstrual cycle. Do not forget the ovulation day, which is the 12th. The last example is on the 33 days cycle. So with a 33 days cycle, your L will be 33. And therefore, where will the fertile days begin from? They'll begin from 33 minus 18, which is 15. Therefore, 15 is the beginning of your fertile days. Now, the ovulation day will be on 15th plus 4, which is 19. Therefore, 19th day is the ovulation day. Then, where will the fertile days end? They will end from 19th plus 5 days, which is 24. Therefore, on the 24th is the end of your fertile days. Therefore, what do I mean here? I mean that if your cycle is 33 days, a 33 day cycle, you are fertile from the 15th day up to the 24th day. And then on the, 19th, on the 19th day is your ovulation day. That is the day that has the highest chances of you conceiving. And therefore, let's look at this. You've started bleeding or you had your menses today. Take it as day one. So, this is day one, day two, and thirty three. Therefore, your fertile days are beginning from the 15th day. 
from the 15th day up to the 24th day. 15th up to 24th. Therefore, here you are unsafe. This is it. From the 15th day up to the 24th day, you are unsafe. And very, very unsafe on your fatal, on your ovulation day, which is the 19th. This is the ovulation day. And my friend, when are you safe? When can you have relief? From the first day up to the 14th day, all these days are yours because you are safe. That is the 33rd day cycle. And then from the 25th up to when you resume your menstruation, you are again safe. I hope this can serve you as a very good example to be careful with all your endeavors. If you have a long distance relationship, you know the days to target 15th up to 24th. And if you are to miss any other days, don't miss the 19th. And if you're not ready to have uh, to conceive or to give birth, then you know the days to utilize that is the first up to the 14th day, and then from the 25th until you resume your menstrual cycle. And therefore, that is a 33 days cycle and in general. Therefore, in summary, it shouldn't be your worry if you have an irregular menstrual cycle. It shouldn't be your worry if you don't have a 28 days cycle. You can still calculate your fertile and safe days. What will you do? You will need to calculate the length of your menstrual cycle for a period of six months. Get the shortest number you get out of those months and use that number to calculate your safe days. What I said, just subtract 18. When you subtract 18, the answer you get is the beginning of your unsafe days. When you add 4, because most of you usually ask me about the ovulation day. After subtracting 18, add 4. The answer you get is the ovulation day. And therefore, if you had any intercourse on that day, there are very high chances that you'll be able to conceive. Thank you very much for watching Ask Dr. Uthman Tupchan. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment below so that we can have more interactions. Ask Dr. Uthman Sawawaw.